Hello, meteorologist Chris Ramirez, and today NOAA has released their seasonal outlook today, August 7th. They released one back in May, and they had some numbers and not much change, but very slight changes in the named storms. So 13 to 18 named storms. Hurricanes is 5 to 9. The major hurricanes, which is Category 3 or higher, 2 to 5. So they decreased their numbers by 1 in each of the categories. And just keep in mind, we usually see 14 named storms on average, 7 of them being hurricanes, 3 of them being major hurricanes. This is still an above average season. So just keep that in mind as we head into closer to the peak of hurricane season. The tropics are still active. We are tracking three disturbances out in the Atlantic Basin. 20% chance of development off the coast of the Carolinas. This has decreased. This was at 30 earlier today, but now it's looking more likely this is going to continue to uh, run into cooler waters and ultimately weaken. There's also a wave off the coast of Africa that has a 60% chance of development within the next seven days. But the good news is that no threat to southeast Texas for the next few days. There's also Dexter. That's a remnant. It's a post tropical storm that's heading off towards Europe and not posing a threat to the US. So that's going to continue tracking off towards Europe and bringing some rain to that region of the world. But looking at the tropical organization for the next few days, we do have our initial wave, the 60% chance that was off the coast of Africa. That's going to fizzle out into nothing once it moves northward. However, Weather models are hinting at two more additional waves by the middle of next week that we're going to have to keep an eye on, especially as these are in warmer waters. So we could see these survive and head closer towards the Caribbean in the coming days. So something to definitely watch as we go into the next week or so. And so as we important reminder, September 10th, the peak of the hurricane season date. We are still in the beginning of August, so activity expected to ramp up as we head into the next few weeks.